So today's vehicle is a 2015 Z71 1500 four-wheel drive and we're going to be installing a leveling kit to raise the front end up uh, hopefully make it level with the back end of the truck. So let's get started. Okay, the reason for that is so that when we're done putting the leveling kit on the truck, we can adjust the headlights back down to where they're supposed to be. These are the low beam headlights. We're not going to worry about the high beam headlights. If you don't do this, you're going to be, uh, well, there's a good chance you're going to be blinding people um, once the leveling kit is installed because it only lifts the front of the truck, not the back of the truck. So it basically raises your headlights up higher. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to take a measurement from the floor to the bottom of the uh, wheel well. We're going to measure both sides. We're 35 and 3 quarter inches. Okay, with the wheel off, we're gonna. There's two uh, little brackets that hold this uh, speed sensor wire onto this upper control arm. We're gonna take the bolts out, take these brackets loose, just to give us enough play. Because what we're gonna eventually do is disconnect this ball joint and allow this to slack back out of the way, so that we can uh, we can get our bolts in without the axle shaft being in the way. These are both 10 millimeter heads. <clears throat> I'm going to bust loose the nut on the upper ball joint. It's an 18 millimeter before I take this one off here, off the tie rod. So I'm going to pull that tie rod off. The outer tie rod's a fifth, or I'm sorry, a 21 millimeter. Whoa, didn't mean to hit you. The axle nut is a 36 millimeter. I'm going to pull the axle nut off because when we uh, when we allow this steering knuckle to relax, once the upper ball joint is disconnected, we don't want to hyperextend one of the CV joints and, and ruin our axle. So I'm going to pull this off so we can push the axle in when this comes back. And now I'm going to pull this uh, nut off and separate this upper ball joint.
move the wire out of the way so we don't hit it. And I'm going to strike the casting right here on the steering knuckle to break the taper to pop that loose. I just pop that out and give us a little more play in this speed sensor wire. I don't want to, I don't want this wire to pull tight. Okay, I'm going to remove both the bolts that secure the strut to the lower control arm. They're 15 millimeter from the bottom side. popping these little clips off because we don't need them anymore. The, uh, the lift kit came with bolts and nuts. The leveling kit I should say. Not really a lift kit. So this is basically what it is. It's just a chunk of aluminum with holes drilled in it. It's just a spacer. And you stick it in just like that, right in between the uh, bottom of the strut and the control arm. Now it looks like we might not have to loosen the uh, sway bar on this side because I have the sway bar loose on the other side. I did the other side first to kind of see what I was getting into. Had we not, um, we would never get this in because it was quite a battle getting this in on the other side. But I left the sway bar loose knowing that that would allow this side to come down a little bit and give us a little bit of room in here. Now when you, uh, when you put the bolts in, you can't put them in from the bottom because what will happen is when this is all reassembled, the bolt will contact the uh, the drive axle so the bolts have to go down from the top that's one of the reasons why we had to separate this so the axle would shift out of the way um, with it with the upper ball joint in the in the steering knuckle you're actually hitting the axle you can't get the bolt in makes it a little bit harder right, right. Whoop. I'm going to loosen that, okay, hon? Okay. Hang on. I'm just going to step back. I think these, I think these are 18s. They are. Okay. This will give us a little bit of wiggle room, hopefully. Okay, don't skip any steps. Loosen those nuts up on top. All right, mister. Are you ready? Should I put both screwdrivers in or just the uh, one on your right? Well, I think you meant to say the one on my left. Oh. Right? Let's Not just bad. try to line these up here. Where's my hole at? There it is. 
Why don't you do this for me, Keegan? Why don't you grab this strut right here and pull it that way towards the tree? There you go. Pull it that way. Oh, there we go. I got my screwdriver. All right, I got the I'll bolt in. Through. There we go. Yes. Teamwork, right? Teamwork makes okay. teamwork. All right, we're going to, let me see that screwdriver. We're going to straighten that hole out a little bit. your screwdriver, hun. You can push the back of that black piece. Oh, never mind. There it goes. All right. It's in. Thank you for your help, Keegan. Okay, we'll put the uh, the washers and the nuts on the bottom side of that. Now before you put this back together, do yourself a favor and clean the threads on these, um, especially the upper uh, ball joint because there's no way to uh, hold this once it's in the steering knuckle um, as you're tightening down the nut. A lot of times it'll, it'll get to a point where the threads will bind up and it'll make the shaft spin and then, then you're forced to pry it down. We'll probably have to pry it down anyway. The tie rod is nice because it's got a 10 millimeter hex on the bottom of it so even if the nut doesn't, doesn't go on nicely, we can hold that with a wrench while we tighten the nut. But uh, since we're here and everything's apart, we're going to clean the threads on it anyways.
Okay, we'll put these two brackets back on with our little 10 millimeter bolts, and we'll put the uh, axle nut on, and we'll be done. Potentially, not quite. Okay, we're going to measure it again. Okay, we are right at 38 inches, and we were 35 and 3 quarters. Okay, the... The driver's side measured uh, 38 and a quarter, 
and it measured 36 before. So this gave us two and a quarter inch uh, lift in the front. It's hard to tell right now because my garage floor is sloped for the floor drain, um, but without even seeing it on level ground, I'm, I'm pretty certain that it's going to look uh, pretty close to level or at least a lot better than what it did before because the front end sat so much lower. I almost forgot. i got to adjust the headlights. I don't know if you guys can see this, but... Uh... Okay, let's see if I can bring those headlights down to the tape line. There you go. Now you can see the tape lines. Just like that. Easy peasy. If you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up. Check out my other content. I appreciate the support. Thank you.